Hey everybody, Logan here. Hopefully, um, you guys have had a awesome summer so far. June is over, it is now July, so I decided to... June is a very active month for pickups. So, the last two, three weeks? Man, I'm just gonna show you. I got some stuff that video game related, but technically not video games in this one. So I was like, you know what? Let me do another one. Didn't think I was going to do another one so quickly, but I got some awesome stuff I want to show you. So, let's just get into it. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Red Bandana Gaming is So, I'm going to start with this thing. Pretty big on the floor. Hopefully it fits in the entire scene. But, I got... Yeah, how awesome is that? It's a Star Fox Super NES poster. Look at that. That's just really cool. You can see the reflection of my TV. <laughs> um, so, I got this one. Uh, at uh, one of the game stores that I normally go to, which is Cybertron Video Games here in uh, uh, Orlando. And there's a number of different posters that they get from time to time. Stuff that you normally wouldn't see, you'd have to buy online. And then when I saw the Star Fox one, I was like, oh, I have to have it. So that's going to go on, uh, on the wall above the entertainment system, which is actually the back of well, the camera area. So got that. That was really cool. Next thing is... Um, well, let me give you a little backstory. Uh, we decided to go thrift store hunting. What? Yeah, because I've seen people go online and find some really cool gaming stuff in thrift stores. I haven't had the best of luck with video games or even gaming stuff at a thrift store, but I did get something. I got two things, two different ones. Let me show you the really funny one. Because when I saw this, an, I actually saw an article in my Google feed the next day. And, well, yeah, that is Mass Effect uh, Deception. It's a novel. I got it for, I want to say it was a total of maybe 30 cents or 50 cents or something like that. And I was like, sure, okay. Next day, it pops up in my Google feed how this is apparently uh, the worst novel for Mass Effect and the, I think it was Bioware, apologized because of how bad it was. And I went, of, co of course, of course. But I got it for less than 50 cents, so yeah, I'm not going to read it now. But hey, <laughs> there you go, okay. The other thing which I found, I think, a few days before that, which was really cool, got for 99 cents. Ah, do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. It's plastic, but it's cool, and I thought it would be really cool to hang on the wall. But then when I saw the back, the way it, it, it's actually sloped, it doesn't hang too well. So I'm going to figure out how to hang that on the wall. But it does have the the grips, and I can poof, poof, poof. Yeah, I can poof. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's See, this is what I meant about a few things that aren't technically video games, but... I got one more thing, and then I promise the rest are all video games. <laughs> so, the next one is something that is video game related, but isn't video game related, but it's cool. And I actually picked it up today, the day of filming. And that is, because it released today, July 2nd. Today is July 2nd, yes. Uh, which is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom! Um, but this is Star Wars. Don't know if you can see it. It's Cal Kestis uh, from Jedi Fallen Order. This was a GameStop exclusive from my understanding. Don't know how well you can see it, but there you go, because I have the reflection of the lights trying not to bounce off the, the plastic. There you go. I don't know, but there you go. It was really cool. Um, rather a bit more expensive for the, the Black Series because it comes with uh, extra accessories that it normally figures don't normally come with. But I had pre-ordered it, and then I also had a, a certificate, so I didn't pay full price, so that was pretty cool. I don't normally buy Star Wars figures, um, unless it's like specific ones. I buy Han Solo, 
uh, I buy anything Cara Dune and Cal Kestis because this is this is my favorite Star Wars game. I really love this game. So yeah, so but otherwise I, I buy Millennium Falcon, a lot of Han Solo stuff. I like to buy the the lightsabers. You guys have seen my Star Wars videos, but the figures the figures are here and there just because there's so many of them. But the Black Series, I definitely had to pick up the Cal Kestis. So yeah, so that's why it's technically video game related because it is from Jedi Fallen Order. So now that the non-video game video game stuff has been shown, uh, let's get into the video games. Okay, so the first set of video games are actually retro. We're gonna put that one aside here, so because they they technically don't fall in with these. Um, like I said, we went to thrift stores. I also went to a flea market, and the flea market was pretty interesting because they did have two game stands, and. Um, I got uh, two PS1 and a Nintendo 64 one. Let's start with the PS1 games first. And I ended up getting South Park for the PS1 and Street Skater 2. Sorry that, I'm, that I don't have a ton of, um, of gameplay footage because most of these I haven't had a chance to play. A lot of what you're going to see is still sealed. So uh, there's not going to be a ton. I might throw in some trailers depending on... You might even be seeing one now. But... I got South Park. I'm still trying to find this for the Nintendo 64 because that's what I played it on. And then I got Street Skater 2. I have Street Skater 1. I didn't remember there being a Street Skater 2, but I guess there is. So, uh, yeah, picked up those two. They were rather inexpensive, I think uh, around $10 a piece. Uh, next one is a Nintendo 64 game. Even though I technically already have the Nintendo 64 game, I decided to pick this one up because I've been looking for this variant. This variant is Turok 2. You're like, what? It's the gray cartridge. I do have the black cartridge. The black cartridge was the most common, and later they released the, uh, the gray cartridge in a, I guess you could say, more limited um, release. The only thing is I made a mistake uh, getting this. I, I should have bargained a bit more. The, I asked the guy how much Turok 2 was. And he goes, oh, it's 15 And I'm like, eh. Because the game, for the black cartridge, you can get it for around $10 to $15. So it was like 15s on the high end. This is normally goes for uh, around 12 to about $17. As of recording, prices fluctuate all the time. And then he goes, oh, it's 20 20 I was like, for the gray cartridge? He's like, yeah, 20 for the gray. And I was like... And I just went, I, I, I should have, but I was like, you know what? I've been looking for this for a while. Uh, I'm not going to haggle with a guy at a flea market. I should, but eh, I'm just, so I decided to pick it up and um, overpaid a little bit for it. But hey, who knows? This might skyrocket, but games have been, I, I guess, settling in terms of price, but it's in the collection. I no longer have to worry about finding it. And it is, it, it's legit. It is, it is a real copy. And uh, that, uh, uh, I was happy to get that. So, two rock, two gray cartridge. Now, I kind of went a little switch crazy this month. You're like, what? oh, wait, before we get to those, Rumble Roses. You're like, what? You bought that? Yeah, Rumble Roses uh, XX, or I don't know if it's XX or 20, I think it's XX, um, for the Xbox 360. A wrestling game featuring all women that was really over the top uh, I had this back in the day did not realize how it spiked and I went to go look for it because I, I, I'm a big fan of wrestling and I was like you know what let, let me pick it up again this game is you can get anywhere between 40 and 50 dollars now yes depending on the condition now the only thing is I got this significantly less because it didn't have the manual so that kind of sucked the disc is in really good condition but I got it for half price, so that was kind of cool. Was happy to get that, but that was, yeah, Rumble Roses. So might uh, might do a, a video on that later, up, but we'll see. I don't know. So like I was saying, I went a little switch crazy. I went a little switch crazy. You gonna be like what? I went a little switch crazy. I I, I went a little switch crazy. Yeah. Man, 
I went straight to crazy. I don't know what to tell you. I, I got a lot. Mo majority of these are still sealed. Uh, some of these I did videos on that you might have seen, uh, like Al uh, Alex Kidd is here. So we're going to do the, the sealed ones, which I just picked up the majority of those yesterday and the day before in terms of uh, recording. And then otherwise, let's start with this. The, this stack, are uh, these are open. Some of them I played, some of them I have not. Uh, but I did open them because I got the coins for it on the, on the My Nintendo. First one. This was an interesting one. I didn't know it was based on uh, a set of books, uh, kids' books. But when I saw it, I was like, it's pretty cool. It's like a Diablo style. And it's called The Last Kids on Earth uh, and the Staff of Doom. So I don't know anything about it. I just saw the gameplay and I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me check it out. And I picked that one up for uh, the Switch. I was looking for it on Xbox, but apparently couldn't find it. But I found the Switch version. I was like, sure. It, it, it wasn't expensive. Next one is Game Builder Garage. Yeah, I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because otherwise the video is going to be forever. Game Builder Garage, uh, I heard it's like Dreams, but for the Switch. So you can create stuff. And I've done uh, actual game production before uh, with Maya and Mudbox and all kinds of other stuff like that and Unreal Engine. But I was like, hey, this could be fun. So I picked that one. Next is, you guys might have seen the video. Alex Kidd uh, in Miracle World DX. Pick that one up. I've already done two videos on it, so I'm just going to go by. Next one, I also did a video on it. It's Shing. It is a beat em up. Awesome game. Check out the, the video. I did, I did that um, last week. So take a look at the video. It's awesome. Next one is Disgaea 6. I actually got to pick this up almost a week early. But because of the, my sciatica and everything, I was in a lot of pain. Wasn't really able to uh, make a video or anything for it. And by the time I've, I'm okay, the game had already come out. And I did play it a little bit. It's really cool if you like the Disguise series. Next, Mario Golf Super Rush. And I'm sure all you guys are like, of course you bought that, yes. And if you're paying attention to the channel, there was a poll. And it looks like Mario Golf Super Rush is running for uh, our July 5th stream. So check out that video when I play it there and then you'll see the game footage. Next is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Yes, I already have this on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X because of the free upgrades. But yeah, and now Switch. I am a nut for the Tony Hawk series. I love the Tony Hawk games. And yes, I have it on Switch now and I will play it horribly on the Switch. It is awesome. I have been playing it. I was going to do a video, but um, yeah, I've already done Tony Hawk videos, but this this is awesome. So next set of games are all sealed. So unless I pull trailers, yeah, <laughs> I have not opened any of these. And if I'm not mistaken, one, two, four of them, no, three of them, three of them are imports. So we'll do the imports first. First one is Saga Frontier Remastered. Now this was originally Super Nintendo. I never had this game, but I saw that it was re-released. It is on the digital storefront for, I want to say around 20 bucks, maybe 25. Don't quote me on that. I didn't look it up just because I, I, I really didn't plan on buying it digital. I wanted it physical because I saw that there's a Asian English release and then my local game store that I go to, Cybertron, had this as well as the next one. And the next one is Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana, uh, a PS1 game, but from my understanding, it only they only printed it physically on the Switch. This is also another Asian English game. Again, still, seal, uh, still sealed. Uh, I wanted to pick this one up. This one was selling extremely fast. They got in 20 copies, and then the night that they got it in, when I went to go get it, they only had two left. So this one I had to snatch up. So Legend of Mana Physical. Next is also another Asian English one because they didn't release it physically here in the States. I wanted it on Xbox Series X because I always played them on Xbox, but I like my physical. And that's Ninja Gaiden uh, Master Collection. So this has Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Yeah, Razor's Edge. Uh, all three the the basically the best versions. The only thing is... 
This one isn't going to be the full 4K and all that other stuff that the Xbox Series X version has, but at least it's physical, and uh, I like the ability to know I'm going to be able to take it with me. Now, these are the last three games that one had been out for, I don't know, about a month, maybe a little less, and I was just debating on picking it up, and that one is uh, Shimagami Tensei 3. Uh, Tensei? Tensei? Tensei 3. And I, I, I like RPGs, love JRPGs, never really been big into the Shimagami franchise, but I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I decided I'm going to pick this up. Hey, if anything, it's a gem to have in the collection. Next one, these two games I picked up yesterday. One of them had been out on PS4 for a little while, I think since the beginning of the year, but apparently this is the packed edition. And you're like, what? That is East 9 Monstrum Knox Packed Edition. I don't know as of recording if this game is officially out. I uh, think it is. I think it came out today. I got it a day ahead of time, not 100% sure. But I think, uh, no, 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 when I check GameStop, it is already out. So this one you can already pick up. Um, yeah, so there you go. I, I know RGT85, he's a big fan of the the E series. So he, he's pro I think he said he was going to even do a video. I don't usually do RPG videos just because it takes a lot to get into them uh, for video. But keep an eye out on his channel for that. And then the last one is Raiden 4 X Mikado Remix. And I like shmups, and I decided to pick this one up. The original came out on the Xbox 360 here in the States, and I, if I'm not mistaken, this is a, um, a re-release of the digital-only PS3 version, I think. Don't quote me on that. Not 100% sure. Can't remember what it was called, but from uh, when I looked it up, I found out that was uh, it, that's the, the version, which was like the enhanced version of the Xbox 360. But there you go. That is i guess the pickups video for june god that was a lot of crap great crap awesome stuff thank you guys for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video thank you to all you guys who are subscribed make sure if you don't already have it hit that bell for notifications and if you are just if you did just hit right now and you hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications make sure you get it because apparently people aren't getting notifications and it's not just our channel it's apparently YouTube wide, things are going weird. I don't know what it is. But head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Follow us on our socials. Again, like I said, subscribe. Visit our spring link in the description below where you can get this awesome shirt and all kinds of other stuff. It would really help us out. We greatly appreciate it. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.